Hello guys and gals, Buffalo here. You know, the channel's been doing really well lately, taking on a lot of new subscribers, so hey to you, all you new folks out there that are tuning into the channel now. But you know, with that growth, also comes more opportunities for me. Companies see that growth, uh, they see the size of the channel, where it's getting to, and they wanna send products for me to review and, and share my thoughts with you guys. Now, I'm pretty picky about what I'll accept. It has to be in my genre you know, guns and gear, gun-related gear. If it, if it falls outside that, I'm not interested. That's what this channel's always gonna be about. So, turn down a lot of stuff, but every now and then I'll have something that, heck, you know, I'm interested in it and I wanna show it to you guys. If it's something that I'm not even interested in, I'm not gonna accept it. But I had never used one of these gun magnet mounts. Uh, hadn't even really put any thought into it, but I was contacted by a representative of Creator MBSY, hope I'm saying that right. Yeah, creator MBSY. And they sent me over one of these magnetic gun mounts. It's a really powerful magnet. It's rated at 42 pounds, so it's gonna hold just about any gun I've got. It has a PVC rubberized like, more of a plastic like uh, cover on the magnet. You can see it's actually a bunch of small magnets underneath, but this thing, you can mount this just about anywhere. You're only limited by your imagination and of course your local gun laws. But, you know, you can mount this under a counter, under a desk, uh, bedside, in your vehicle. I've seen people use them in their safe to create, free up, you know, some of that wasted space underneath the shelf. They can, they can put this underneath the shelf and, and just slap a gun underneath there. And, and this thing is, is very powerful and with that, plastic coating it's not going to mar your finish up on your firearm so let's take a closer look at this thing i'll mount it here under the table and demonstrate it all right i was going to go ahead and just edit out the mounting part but you know heck that's part of the review so it does have an ad uh, adhesive strip on the back to hold it in place while you put the screws in the adhesive strip is not intended to hold the weight of a firearm. It's just there to help you, help you mount it where you want it. But it has four screw holes, and some people get creative with these, and, and they'll use zip ties through the screw holes if they're wanting to mount it on something like under a driver's seat of the car or passenger seat or whatever, and they can just zip tie it to the little bars under there. Uh, it keeps you from having to drill your car up. But, I mean, you, you guys can probably think of more ways to mount this thing than I can. We're just gonna pretend like this is maybe a desk here. Uh, got four screw holes, and it comes with uh, about eight different screws in the package with it, so. They give you a couple of different screw lengths. All right, so just like that, we've got it mounted. If this were a desk at work, and I am all about keeping the gun on your person. I, I don't, I'm not endorsing this as a way to, to just leave a gun unattended. But if you're within reach of that gun, I consider that on your on your person. So if you're in a sitting position and your holster's digging into your side or makes it hard to draw from, you know, you can put this under a desk however way, however you wanted to do it. And you've got a uh, convenient and easy to get to location to draw from. You can hold it like that. It'll hold like that. And this thing is, is powerful. You could. You could hold a long gun. Here's a, uh, this is a 20 gauge shotgun. It's not gonna have any problem holding that shotgun. Very powerful, as I said before, and won't mar the finish. Now it takes quite a bit of a uh, pull if you pull straight down on that thing. If you give it a little twist, it'll pop right loose. Now, it's rated at 42 pounds. I don't have a uh, 42 pound weight to check that with. I do have a little seven and a half pound dumbbell uh, weight here. A plate weight, you know, seven and a half pounds, pretty heavy for most firearms. Any uh, pistol that's got enough steel on it, it's going to hold that up. 
Now I figure there will be some questions about will the magnet hurt if you have like an RMR sight or something on here and I, honestly I don't have the answer to that. I would check with the manufacturer of your sight and see if magnets would you know would, would hurt that sight. I don't think that it would if you had your uh, a sight here and the magnet over here the reason why it doesn't transfer much of that magnetism. I've got a this is just a little a steel staple as you can see it's drawn to that magnet very much so but if I've got that here it, it will not stick to the firearm on the other side so it's not a it's not like it's a, creating a lot of magnetism on the firearm itself so I think a, a a sight like that would be all right. And that does draw another question too, you know, if you run a, a really strong magnet like that on a piece of steel, it's gonna turn that steel magnetic. I haven't had that issue with this, uh, with this magnet. I've, I've had this thing for about five weeks and using it, even leaving the gun on the magnet overnight, once I pull the gun loose from the magnet, you probably can't even see this, but there's that little staple. It will not even have enough uh, magnetism to to pick that staple up. So, you know, I'm not saying that it won't over time become more magnetic, but so far I haven't had any. And I and I check that a lot because I know people will, will be asking that very question, and and that's my answer so far is that. I haven't had any magnetism in the pistol itself once I take it from the magnet. Now, there is some slight magnetism while it's mounted to the magnet. It's not much. The staple, staple won't even stick to the side of the pistol. There it is. But, but that's just because I'm in front of that magnet. But if you work or you're in an environment to where you're around a lot of iron dust, uh, steel dust, and you're scared that it's gonna be drawn into the pistol by the magnet, you know, then I wouldn't use it. Uh, for me, it's not an issue. What little bit of magnetism is being transferred to the pistol, it's not enough for me personally to worry about in my environment. So just something for you guys to think about. Overall, I think it's a great product. It's about 20 bucks on Amazon and I'll provide that link in the description below if you wanna take a look at one of these. I know a lot of people make these things homemade and they end up scratching their guns up and, and all that stuff. And I'm not saying you guys can't do a good job of making one of these yourself, but usually you'll end up spending 20 bucks making it. And with this, you know, it's a really nice magnet. It's, it's, it does what it's supposed to do and it's not gonna, not gonna hurt your gun, so. I would just go ahead and buy the darn magnet. I'm actually probably gonna go ahead and pick me up a couple of more of these just to have around. Uh, that's really all I got to say about it. I'll talk with y'all again soon.